Hello, we're now going to look at a couple more types of information style as defined by the exam board. But I think these two require a little bit more discussion because their use is a bit more detailed than the other ones we looked at in the previous video. So, starting with databases, which you don't need to know loads about, but really they're going to crop up a lot in future topics because they're so key in information management, right? We store a lot of data in databases. Now, the database itself is just a really structured way of storing data and that structure in the vast vast majority of cases are tables so a database has one or more tables usually there'll be several tables at least which are connected together through different relationships so this picture is of a program called Microsoft Access and it's got three tables albums artists and genres the albums table is open here we've got four columns uh, in fact, no, I can't count. We've got five columns and quite a few rows. So tables, usually a 2D format with columns and rows, and we can show lots of similar data together. So the benefits are this is a slightly more visual way of showing data. Of course, it's still text, and we have some numbers too as well often, but you can see results a lot more easily. You can see how the results compare across a certain category. Right, you can compare the genres and you can see we've got a fair few rock, a few jazz, a few hip hop. You can look at that quickly. If I was hidden in a long paragraph, it might be harder to see and take more time. Of course, tables are not always suitable, such as if the data is really hard to categorize. If you were asking sort of random questions to people and every question was different for every person, you can't then put that in a table or it becomes much harder. So tables are suitable if you've got a set few categories a set few things you are expecting, then you can put it in different columns and have lots of different rows. So tables are another information style you've got to learn, not a one which is particularly uh, rocket science. Now spreadsheets are another way of presenting information. So spreadsheets can have tables too, but they're focused a little bit more on processing data, not just holding it. They are mostly going to process it as well. Whereas a database can process to an extent but it's mostly about keeping stuff longer term. So some examples of uses of spreadsheets. Well, we have tools like Autocomplete. So here we've got the different months and the Autocomplete tool is kind of suggesting actually wrong <laughs> months. But there are cases where you can fill in, say, a formula, which is a calculation, and Autocomplete will do lots and lots and lots of rows for you. You don't have to do it yourself. So formulae are ways to do things like maths calculations, often using built-in functions. A function does a particular job, like we've got some maths functions here, and these can do calculations and processing really quite quickly, whereas doing it by hand would take a lot longer. To give an example of this, which I've used before, if you've seen another video on a similar, similar theme, we've got a example of what my spreadsheet looks like top left, and a very long formula at the bottom. Now this formula actually is using one function called if. If is how we can make decisions and we're using it a few times in this formula. Now, this took a while to write, but I press enter and it gives me the grade. So I don't have to grade my year 10 pupils myself. I can use a function which does it for me. Now I had about, I think, I'm roughly maybe 20 or 30 people in this spreadsheet. I type in the formula once, drag down to autocomplete and it does it straight away. So really easy processing once you write the initial formula. Of course, writing the initial formula can be tricky. And I know I made a few mistakes when I first wrote this. So errors can creep in. But once you have a formula working, the information you produce is not only accurate, but is really quick. And these arrows next to my column headings are other examples of tools. So you can add filters. You could say filter it based on only the grade nines, say, and it will filter it really easy. You can also sort the columns. You might sort it by percentage to see your top students. Those sort of tools are available in spreadsheets. Now, just a few others actually. Uh, other features might include things like validation and the ability to protect certain areas of your workbooks. For workbooks are where you're actually writing the data and you might have several tabs at the bottom, several sheets, as they're sometimes called. So if you're validating, that means you only allow a set number of values. So here, somebody's tried to type in 106, and the validation saying 
please enter a four digit number. So it's gotta be four digits, not three digits. So the validation can prevent mistakes, can prevent inaccurate data being entered into the spreadsheet. And protection is where you say, lock the cells so that your formulas can't be changed. You might, you know, press a key by mistake and change your formula, but instead you can lock it so that any mistakes won't actually affect the spreadsheet. Another key feature in most spreadsheet software is the ability to generate graphs and charts. Now graphs and charts are another one of our information styles to learn. The difference between the two is not that important, but these are our visual methods. I mean, you can recognize a graph straight away, right? We've got the lines, we've got the bars, we've got say a pie chart. These are a visual way of showing trends most often, right? We can see, for example, that profit has gone up and down quite a lot. You can see a trend and you can see um, what's happening in the data, which maybe in a table is less evident. You can also allow comparisons. You might plot several different tables against each other or several different people against each other and you can see how they stand up. So graphs and charts are good for visual data and can be produced fairly easily in spreadsheets.